Man, what a pretty day in March. Don't seem like March. It's so warm out. It's in the 70s. The humidity's up. Sun shining bright to my eyes. That's pretty enough. I had to turn so I could see on the camera. But the middle of March is when I like to work on my strawberries. I don't think we've ever discussed that in a video. In the middle of March, usually when we try to get out and pull a few weeds and pull out some extra plants and kind of clean up the strawberry beds. It's bed right now. It's, pig to be, well, it's two beds now. I, I can't say beds. That's the other half of this. You know we had a 16-foot one. Let me turn the camera around. <clears throat> We've talked about this 16-foot bed of strawberries last couple years. It done really well last year. Made a lot of strawberries. Put up a lot in the fridge, in the freezer. What well, I make my smoothies out of. I still got strawberries left. But I'm working on them pretty good. Anyway, at this time of year, I like to come in and you know, pull out the extra garbage. You can see I've got a lot of pine needles and stuff there now. Got a big pine tree here. Pull out some extra plants. You can, you can see a gap down through there. I've been going around the edges, pulling all the extra plants that's grown down in the edges, and pulling the ones that's trying to grow into the cross ties. They're not going to do very good there. Just kind of straighten the bed up. But I've got so many new strawberry plants. They've gotten so thick, I'm taking the extra plants and I'm starting another bed. I actually started last year. Some people might have seen it on the video. I put a few out. Well, I've been at it this morning pretty good and I've got that other bed stocked pretty good. I just like a few. There's a couple open spots where I planted them last year that they didn't make it. Or I just didn't put one. It'll be either. I'll show you that bed. Okay, this is this is my new strawberry bed, as you can see. It's actually got plants all the way through it now. I had, I think, 15 here on the end I had taken out of, this, out of my small garden, where my onions are. I had some in there. I had to move. I would bought some strawberry plants last year. Gurney's usually allows you to order them and they'll send them to you when it's time to plant them. I was in a hurry, I ordered several strawberries and lo and behold they showed up in July. Not in September or October. They shipped them out immediately. I had to plant them in the garden in order to find a place big enough. That's the only place I had. I planted them in this little garden over here beside. Not all of them made it because July and August is a horrible time to plant anything. It's very hot here. We're not deep south, but we're south enough. It's hot in Tennessee and humid. Most stuff don't make it good in August. But I managed to save some of them. I think there was 15 or 18 of the ones I had, what I found. Well, this morning I planted the rest of these and cleaned the bed out. All these on this end, almost half this bed came from the previous bed. You can dig them up and transplant them if you keep them watered for a few days. Most time they'll they'll take back off and root back in, and you'll get more strawberries. That's what we're talking about having strawberries. You see what that right there has got? It's March, and we've got blooms. There's one over there. There's a few in here I come across. I'm off early, but maybe they'll make it. That's been my project today. Good time in March, at least in my area of the country. Start working your beds and getting them ready. Clean them up and it won't be long. The sun will be good and warm and berries will be growing. Y'all have a good week.